When people think about sustainability, the first thing that comes to mind is the environment and combating climate change. All of the UN Sustainable Development Goals are interrelated and do contribute to practices that will help mitigate the effects of climate change. But SDG 13 specifically focuses on taking urgent action to combat climate change and its effects. Among the targets, SDG 13 urges that all countries strengthen resilience and adaptive capacity to climate-related hazards and natural disasters. One of the realities of climate change is that weather is going to inevitably become more extreme and we need to be realistic in approaching the issue to take concrete measures to protect against it. At both a national and local level, there should be a disaster risk reduction strategy put in place. Climate change affects every area of life, and so allowances for climate change should feature in most, if not all, legislation and in national policies, strategies, and plannings. An important but often underrated part of fighting climate change is increasing education and awareness of climate change mitigation, adaption, impact reduction, and early warning signs at all levels of education, primary, secondary, tertiary. This is now a part of life, and the upcoming generation needs to be educated on the state of their world. To reach this goal, SDG 13 comprises a few clear goals. To finance all of this, the UN aims to mobilize at least $100 billion every year towards climate efforts money that can be used to help developing countries, in particular, build up resilience to climate disasters. Additionally, we need to go to the least developed countries and promote awareness of climate issues, provide them with resources and direction to better address issues, and take into special consideration how climate change affects marginalized groups. When talking about the state of the planet, there is a before COVID-19 and a during COVID-19 distinction. Before COVID, 2019 was the second warmest year on record, coming at the end of the warmest decade on record, with average temperatures 1.1 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial averages, and that is fast approaching the threshold set at 1.5 degrees, increased set by scientists overall. Globally, most countries have increased efforts around climate action since the early 2000s, and the amount of money mobilized increased around 20%, reaching $680 billion in the 2015 fiscal year. However, there is still considerably more money going to non-green industries, with $780 billion going to fossil fuel alone. During the pandemic, greenhouse gas emissions have dropped by a projected 6%, but that is mainly due to widespread travel bans and economic downtowns, and will most likely only be temporary. If anything, the pandemic has shown us that what we were doing before was simply not enough. And if we want our after COVID to continue to improve, we all need to make serious changes in our lives and in industry everywhere to even begin to fight climate change.